as you can see I've got um, a large amount hanging off the ceiling which is uh, all the legs and the and the uh, um, the top spinning top and the base uh, and there's also a bit of in move sitting here um, but it's getting in the way so I've, uh, it's been there for a bit I'm gonna finally assemble it I painted it all last uh, late last summer as you know um, so I'm going to put the R2 back together again uh, and get it on the floor cause, uh, and then it creates some space around myself as well. So that's the project um, for the next um, week or so. Here also you can see the, the main body of the uh, of R2 just sitting on my bench, my mini uh, wheelable bench. Uh, so uh, he's going to be, um, I took the wire, a lot of the wiring out of that because um, I wasn't happy with the original wiring. So once I've got it, uh, the structure back together, uh, going to uh, rewire the control board, not, not the cabling to the legs and everything, that's all done. So I'm going to put all that back together again. Uh, now it's all painted um, and um, uh, we'll see how we go. Okay, I'm just uh, getting all the bits out of storage, which have been uh, packed away for a few months. Um, I painted them all last year, but you've probably seen the videos. So just show you what I've got here. So I'll just move the camera a bit. Uh, that's the, the center section with its uh, with its uh, center wheels. That's one of the the uh, drive sections. Now there is a new. There's a whole new uh, design for these now, uh, but I'm not going to uh, redesign that. I'm just going to stick with what I've got. These are the, the two feet covers. Now, when I put this, I, I partly put these in here, bef in these before, and that's quite a tight fit, so I never fully assembled them. Uh, so I might have to sort of sand these down a little bit to get them to all fit, because um, I know I had to scrape out a bit in there last time. So, um, but this will be the final fit, so I'm just gonna put those to one side, get these uh, drives in into these feet, uh, feet covers, or arm covers whichever whichever way around they are uh, and then mount them on onto the two legs um so that's uh i'm just going to get myself sorted out and then i'll show you how i'm doing so i'm just trying to get that to to sit in um i'm going to have to adjust the uh the tension on the belt at some point um but i'm not going to do that at the moment I'm just going to sit there. I'm just going to build uh, the unit back together again. Um, to adjust the tension, you've got the. Um, you're going to have to move these screws. So, um, what I'll do is I'll get it as tight as possible for the time being and then just put it together. But just dry fitting that one, you can see I'm going to have to. work on getting that to fit flush at the top that's the problem it's, it's uh, well it's a problem i've had i've never actually done anything about it in the past so uh, i'm gonna work on that it probably needs a bit of uh, filing down just to get it all to sit in there properly it's also quite a tight fit going through there which i'm going to work on just to show you how these fit in there is um captive nuts that have already been fitted in there. A couple of them on this side. A couple there. Um, but what I found, oh, there may be around, a way around this, but this is initial. Uh, I can see that captive nut there, but that one is behind. Get some more light on there. It's going to be underneath here, so um, I don't think I'll be able to get into that one. You can't even see it <laughs> on the camera. So um, it's tucked in there. So I'll get some more light on there. But it's uh, so there's only going to be, I think, three three captive nuts on there. Um, but we'll um, we'll see how it goes. So I managed to get that front one in. Um, they seem to be going in okay. I think I've got captive nuts in there. Hopefully that will take that one. Just fitting the captive nuts in the uh, other shell. Um, see you on camera there. Just the way I uh, fit them is I drop the nut in 
which will ju it just slots in slots in there but to keep it in I always jam a little bit of paper in there that, um, it's a little bit of masking tape just holds it in and then stick a bit of masking tape over the top uh, otherwise it just falls straight back out again so it's uh, that seems to work quite well so literally just a uh, something to just jam in there And then you can see the bolt just sits in there perfectly. Just a tiny bit of um, a bit of tape in there. Just holds it in. Holds that bit um, in place. So a bit of fiddling around. It, it, it's um, it does line up. You just got to get it to actually sit in there. As I said, I've got that screw in there. Um, I've managed to just manoeuvre it so I can get ready to put the top two screws in. So that's uh, that's fine. Um, the, the the other screws did fit. It just wasn't lining up. <clears throat> Sorry, wasn't lining up. So these these shorter ones are fine. It's just I couldn't get the angle right. I need to magnetise my screwdrivers. I'm just using a bit of tape in there for a minute. It's nearly there actually. Front uh, lines up fine. So just got to bring that bottom bit in a little bit. And I've got a slight crack in the. Uh, it's sort of crunching through the plastic in there, so I might leave it like that. I don't want that to uh, break. So that's that one. Just got to do the other one. As you can see, this is the, the centre section. Um, I've, again, I've had this uh, assembled in the past, took it apart. Um, this, is, this is my favourite bit of the whole <laughs> R2-D2. I just think that's brilliant, but uh, anyway. So that um, sits in there. That bit sits in there. There's, there's retaining bolts in there. Through that, through that. So you put four bolts in there, which hold the whole thing together. So that's basically how it goes together. So um, there's nothing actually holding that in, other than um, it's just tight in there. But I've I threaded the end. I just. Uh, hacksawed the end so I could actually screw it in initially just to get it going but uh, it's it doesn't there's nothing actually holds it in as such again uh, captive nuts I've got a bit of tape in there just to hold them in place and hopefully now it's all been painted it's uh, the tolerances haven't changed you know the thickness of the paint on it shouldn't be shouldn't be too much of a problem pushing it in but uh, right so that's that's on there now 
that sits like that. Uh, just make sure there's a front or a back. Don't think it makes any difference. No, it doesn't look like it does. That's going to go in there. in that. Short ones. <laughs> I've got them mixed up. Let's turn that one back out again. long so I had some smaller ones there in fact that's probably slightly too small I've got I've got some in yeah so I've got three sizes there um, I'm using the middle size which is um, I'll tell you how long they are hold up that is 30 30 mil or an inch and inch and an eighth or something 30 so it's not 30 mils 25 mil 25 mil long which is an inch so I'll just get some more of those is basically ready to take and that goes down like that and it all assembles like that I think <laughs> That's the right moment. The reason you've got a gap in there is obviously the thickness of, you know, there's this gap here, is the thickness of the uh, base of the R2. So that slots underneath the, uh, the R2 and this drops down through the top and clamps. Um, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to assemble it at the moment. Um, physically, uh, balancing it all and getting the legs on, but that's a, that's a challenge. So, uh, just put the last bolt in there and, and have a think about that. 